and why, you might ask, does it have a five gallon pail over something protruding through the hood? Oh yeah, she's been ghetto turboed. Let's see if it just magically rolls to life. Oh, it's cranking. Oh, come on, baby. This runs better than my daily. Time for head gasket sauce. Okay, got a battery in. Should be fine. Bring this puppy to life. Get this up to the shop so we can fab up a cold side. Look at this thing. Eight ball shifter. Some kid actually loved this, and we're just gonna absolutely destroy it. For our own personal entertainment. I wonder if he knows I'm at the door. Oh yeah, he does. Wrench time. What are you doing, Corey? Oh, you know, found some old Harley exhaust here. You know, that's got to go into there, something like that. Oh my God, that's amazing. This is the, the power curve. All the big manufacturers are into the power curve. These things don't make any real power at all unless you do that, so. All right, let's throw it together, man. It I, looks good to me. It's gonna work. Custom angle job. Only the finest here, people. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, that's going to be mint. Couple clamps, we're good to go. Mm -hmm, let's Maybe we that. should weld the rest. Yeah. You go around and get that for you. This is mint buster approved. Yeah. Can't be handled. Duct tape works for everything. And if you're really concerned about its longevity, you just use more. Yeah. Bam. Tech tip for the day, if you're worried that your duct tape coupler might not hold, you just want to double clamp it. Bam. Um, that's better than new. Now it's good. All right. Yeah, that's all too bad. I'm almost upset we're putting this thing to death. I'm starting to fall in love with it. All right, let's close the hood and fire it, man. I don't think he's following the directions right. Where'd that bottle go? So, shake while I do. Oh, Corey, step two. Get with the program. That's why.
I think I can hear the head gasket sealing. Yeah, it's gotta be working. All right, so we're just not getting the temperature we need, is my understanding. We, we more want heat. more rev limiter. We got a long way to go, dude. Yeah, Man, Corey, I think we made this too good. We're supposed to blow this up. It's still running. Oh my goodness. We don't even have really that much of a boost leak or anything yet. Oh, yeah. Cold side. It's like a new Chevrolet, people. does appear to leak some oil. Uh, better, uh, Minor details. A puddle in there. Oh, it's yeah. diesel in. Oh, no, no, it just won't no, shut off. It won't it's shut okay, off. We're, we're good. Uh-oh. That's what the smoke is coming from. The oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. So that must be our Down leak. Down under the manifold. That Dipsticks leaking. Leak. Yeah, that's yeah. probably her. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, let's jump in. Okay, <laughs> so upon closer inspection, that's the oil drain line, and it is siliconed into the side of the oil pan. So we're just not sure why it's leaking. That's, that's a new peak level of redneck ingenuity though. So we just gotta fix an oil leak? She's ready for round two sometime, yeah. Yeah.
blew a coolant line. <laughs> we blew a coolant reservoir hose. That's an easy fix. Easy fix. It's just cool it down real quick. Cool it down real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I, it just needs fresh water. I mean, we hey, should stop why didn't we put a clamp on that hose? Oh, there's the problem. There's the problem. There's the no overflow clamp. hose blew right off. All we needed was a gear clamp. Yeah, well, we can, we fix, can that. fix this. We're not done yet. We're good. Oh yeah, boys. Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, cool it down a little. Ooh, good job. The Huron County High Performance Racing Coolant, guaranteed to lower engine temps. Battery's holding strong though. Yep, it's fine, dude. It just keeps it singing. PCM relocate, still good, dude. It's amazing. Solid. We're too good at this. We're supposed to blow this up. It's sad how good things work when you don't try. Oh, look, our spare spark plug. Just kidding, it's a champion. We don't use that shit. Shall we re thrash, boys, or what? Let's roll. Round two. Oh, it's trying, Corey. Let her cool. Cool this down for five to ten. It's probably gonna run again. Chevrolet people. Uh, Look at the duct tape. Look at the duct tape coupler holding. holding strong, baby. Like we said, double clamps. Double clamps. Double Thinking outside the box. Yeah. We just pumped all the oil right out of her. I think the transmission's ready for the boss, eh? Yeah. I hope he's not mad about you know all this. The lawn. Oh. We redid the berm. Yeah. <laughs> well, you rototilled it. <laughs> Dude, look at the look at the edge off the compressor Ooh. wheel though. We Ooh. destroyed it. Let me get in on that. We the edge. The we, <laughs> it might not be generating a whole great deal of boost now. Look at the clearance. 
Okay. Folks, this, this is a friendly reminder of just how much abuse these things can take before they'll actually die. This was completely destroyed when we started. Yeah. So, if there's anything we can learn from this, buy a piece of junk truck, beat the crap out of it in the backyard, save your $30,000 side by side, because we're still gonna harvest parts off this thing. This is all the sh that we were gonna do anyway. Having you guys here is really just an excuse for us <laughs> to do it. It's just a reason to be like, oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do when we're done making that useless piece of sh Exactly. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, and uh, comment, and tell us you want some more so we can keep video. We're gonna do it again anyway, but if you wanna see it, let us know. Yeah? Yes. All right, guys, till next time, keep it real. This is pretty fast. This is pretty cool. Camera guy's on the fucking phone over here. Wow, they get some camera guys. We're the worst TV show hosts ever, man. <laughs>